Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Govberg, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Patek Philippe Nautilus, reference 5711-1A-011. You can see this gorgeous Patek Philippe Nautilus and buy it on our website, govbergwatches.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and download our app, Govberg On Time, for the latest news, views, reviews, and multimedia of luxury watches. Now, on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this is the classical image of Gerald Genta's 1976 Nautilus, a sports watch, but engineered and finished to a level of refinement simply unknown in the category at the time and still exceptional today. Now, the watch measures 40 millimeters across what might be considered the round of the case, but with a cushioned profile and those broad wings splayed out on the 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock sides. The watch doesn't wear like a 40, it wears like a 42, perhaps even a 43. It has an imposing broad stance, but it is not thick. You can see that only 8.5 millimeters thick. The watch is generously sized to fit underneath a formal cuff. This is a two-way player, dress and informal occasions. And for those times when you will be wearing the tightest of dress cuffs, note the generously sloped flank of the case at 9 o'clock with a likewise generously sloped bezel easy to fit under a sleeve. Now from lug to lug there are a couple of ways to measure the watch. If you want to actually measure the lug to lug, you're talking about a very compact 44.5 millimeters, but because the bracelet has a little bit of inflexibility because this linking member on each side, this innermost link, actually splays out, actually fights the curve of your wrist just a bit, then the rigid extremity to extremity measurement of this watch is actually a very contemporary 49 millimeters. Not overwhelming, but decisively larger than 44 and a half. Now the watch does have heft on the wrist. It is very, very well made. And the defining characteristic of the watch is probably the incredible tolerances of the bracelet. Now you can see that it tapers. You can see that with the eye. But when I run my finger along its flank, I can't feel the actual step down from link to link. So consider what that means. That means we have a piece of metallurgy that feels like silk on the wrist, so smooth and supple is it. And at the same time, the difference in each link, each hand finished, is so subtle that you can see it but you can't feel it. There's effective use of contrasting finish too. You can see the polished center links, you can see the polished shoulders, and yet you can see that the principal links, the H member links, are beautifully sat and finished. The clasp is a handsome and sturdy piece. Uh, Dual swing arm deployant, it's better for a smaller wrist because it doesn't have that one big up and over that can really pinch you. And at the same time, it features clamshell closure. So once it's closed, the clamshell comes down and locks. Now for long wearing durability, you can see that a small ceramic bead has been inserted into the opposite number so that as the clamshell comes down, this retaining link uses the ceramic bead to hold it secure and the ceramic against the stainless steel cl uh, clamshell will not wear over time. It will be just as crisp in 20 years as it is today. Small refinements like that define Patek Philippe. Now the dial, the case, and the bezel define the Nautilus, because the Nautilus is the image of a porthole transposed onto a luxury watch. You can see the contrasting finish used to good effect, satin on the lug hoods, you can see that there's high polish on the flanks of the the wings, the distinctive Nautilus wing members on each side. You can see the polish of the bev bevel of the bezel. Likewise, you can see the gorgeous straight grain top, and as we move towards the dial, I like to say that this, the Dash 011 model of the Nautilus, is by far the most legible because you have an explosive contrast of blackened gold hands and hour indices against a striated silver base. It explodes in any light. You can see this watch at a glance and fully loomed. You can also read it in low or no light. So as a timepiece, this is the best of the Nautilus breed. And of course, the textured striations of the dial are present and accounted for, as are small lacquered dimples for the seconds track out board of the hours. And even the date window itself has a subtle step down from the dial flat to the date disc. And that subtle step down has been colored to match blackened hands and the blackened indices. So even that step, that small portion of the date window aperture, has been carefully color coordinated to the rest of the dial. Now it's important to note that the watch features a movement that is as refined as everything else you see here. Now this is the caliber 324 and in this case it's the 324 SC, center seconds and calendar, calendar for the date window. Now the movement features about a 45 hour power reserve. It features unidirectional winding with unlubricated high-tech ceramic rotor bearings. Very efficient, they are sealed for life, they never need maintenance or lubrication. You can see gorgeous Cote de Genève across the rotor but also across the bridges. 
Now there's circular coat on the rotor and linear across the bridges. You can see the balance cock features a traditional Patek Philippe Gyromax free sprung balance. So resistance to shock induced timing variations is present and accounted for. But this one has another refinement. Patek Philippe's Silinvar material, or a silicon hairspring known as Spiromax, and that gives the watch amagnetic qualities such that if you bring it into a high-powered home entertainment zone or office, the watch doesn't have the risk of becoming magnetized as does a conventional watch with a metallic hairspring. Now you can see the movement beautifully made. This is one of those movements where you say it has the proverbial 20 Swiss franc screws because they are so beautifully finished, not just polished on their heads and chamfered through their slots, but the pilot below the threaded stalk is actually polished to a mirrored shine. If you remove the screw, this is proven and borne out every time. It's a truly remarkable watch, a handsome companion for the summer days. The bottom line is it's also a very versatile one with 120 meter water resistance. This watch is equally suitable in a business suit or a bathing suit. You can see it and you can buy it on our website, govbergwatches.com.